Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to forecast sales using Excel in the best way with default feature. Like in this example, I have a sales record of last 2 years and I want to forecast my sales for next 6 months. So let's do it. The condition here is to keep your sales record in two columns. First column is for the month and second column is for the sales record or any other records you want to focus. Select the data, go to data tab and click forecast sheet. After the click, you will get an instant forecast but we will customize it for the best result. You can show the forecast in both line chart and column chart but I prefer line chart. Here in this chart, the blue line is for my sales record of last two years and the orange line is for the next six months forecast. Now we will customize it. To customize, go to options. Here the first option which is forecast end is the date till you want to make your forecast. For example, I am increasing my forecast month 6 to 7 so that I am going forward one month in the calendar. Now it's showing forecast line with this data. Then forecast start. It is the date from where your forecast will actually start. After that you will find confidence interval ratio. It means how much accurate and confidence data you want in your forecast or how much percent you want your data to be perfect. Higher confidence means higher upper and lower bound. Lower confidence means more concise result. That means if you increase the percent the upper bound and lower bound will increase that means your forecast will be on that boundary. After that we will go for seasonality. It's a very useful feature of this forecast sheet because in every business there are seasonal time. In this sales record the seasonal time is like July and August and off season is September. It's detected automatically in the forecast but not that much precisely. So I will set it manually. I am making it 12. That means it will check all 12 months record of last 2 years as for seasonality. You can give 2, 4, 6, 8 as it goes to your business. So here I am getting a perfect forecast for my sales record with seasonality. Then you will find timeline range. Here it's showing the timeline range and it's showing the value range. After that you will get one more option that is the fill missing point using option. For example, in this data, there are some missing sales. How will Excel count it? There are two options, zeros and interpolation. If you give zeros, result for this data will not be perfect as zero sales is very much unusual, but you can give it if it matches with your business. So we will give it interpolation. And the last one is for duplicate data. If you have a duplicate sales, how will Excel count it? By default, it will make it average. You can sum it, max it, min it by considering your data whichever goes with your sales data. Then just click create and your forecast will come. And your forecast will come with the data table. In the table, the first column is showing the month, the second column showing the previous record of your sales, third column showing the forecast of your sales and the fourth column is the lowest possible sales that can occur and the last one is the highest possible sales forecast that can occur. This is how you can make sales forecast, incident forecast or any other forecast using Excel. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Check out our other series for more attractive chart and dashboard videos.